Jair was the seventh judge of Israel during the Old Testament times. He rose as a judge among God's people after the leadership of Tola. Jair's story in the Bible is recorded in chapter 10 of the book of Judges. In this video, you will understand everything the Bible says about who Jair, the judge of Israel, was, and you will understand how his leadership period was ahead of God's people at a time when the Israelites were not ruled by kings. The name Jair probably means, he illuminates. But before Judge Jair, the Bible mentions another man with the same name. This first Jair was the son of Segub, and he seems to have been a great conqueror in the tribe of Manasseh. During the conquest of the territory east of the Jordan, he conquered many villages that were on the border of Bashan and Gilead. These villages became known as Havath Jair, which basically means villages of Jair, Jair's settlements, or Jair's cities. The mention of this first Jair is important because for many scholars, the seventh judge of Israel was probably one of his descendants. The Bible refers to Jair, the judge of Israel, as a Gileadite, that is, a person from Gilead, the same territory where the first Jair was very active during the conquest of Canaan. Some interpreters suggest that the two Jairs might have been the same person, in a type of anachronism in biblical texts, but this interpretation is not widely accepted among scholars. Jair's leadership began after the Israelites, mainly those from the northern tribes, were judged by Tola. Judge Tola led the children of Israel after the disastrous attempt of Abimelech, Gideon's son, to establish an unauthorized monarchy in Shechem. But in connection with Tola's leadership, the biblical text makes no reference to a specific enemy who oppressed the Israelites, and the same also occurs with Jair's leadership. About Jair, in Judges, chapter 10, and verse 3, the biblical text simply says that he judged Israel for 22 years. The absence of the identification of an aggressive people during the years that Jair judged Israel may mean that his leadership did not focus on freeing the Israelites from the hand of an oppressive nation, but was more dedicated to solving the internal issues of Israel's own tribes. The biblical text also completes by saying that Jair had thirty sons who rode on thirty donkeys and had thirty cities in the land of Gilead. These cities were also associated with the designation Havath Jair. About this, in the book of Judges, chapter 10, and verse 4, the biblical text says, And he had thirty sons that rode on thirty ass colts, and they had thirty cities, which are called Havath Jair unto this day, which are in the land of Gilead. The description of Jair's thirty sons who rode on donkeys and governed cities is probably an indicative of the great power, influence, and wealth of Jair's family. When Jair died, the biblical text says he was buried in common, possibly also in Gilead. After this brief account, Judge Jair is not mentioned anywhere else in the Bible. Interestingly, in some lists of the period of the judges of Israel, Jair is counted as the eighth judge instead of the seventh. This is because some commentators consider Barak as a judge alongside Deborah, while others count only Deborah's leadership. The Bible also mentions two other people named Jair who lived in the sequence of Israel's history. According to the first book of Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 5, the father of Elhanan, the man who killed Goliath's brother, was named Jair. Later, the book of Esther, in chapter 2, speaks of a Jair who belonged to the tribe of Benjamin and was the father of Mordecai, Esther's tutor. 